Hello everyone. Welcome to iExamP. CB interviews are around the corner and in today's video, I'm going to talk about a very important aspect that can help you in your interview preparation. That is the science and the art. So what exactly is the science and the art and how one can actually blend the two to improve your performance in the interviews? So before we delve into these points, some things that you need to know about the interview is that the interview dates are out and the actual interviews are starting from the 13th of May and they are uh, going to continue till around 17th of June as per the information available from various students and these are happening location wise with the first uh, round starting at Ahmedabad. Right, and after that, uh, they are moving to Chennai, then Kolkata, then New Delhi, and then we will have interviews at Mumbai, the head office, with specialized fields of IT, legal, and Raj Bhasha also happening in Mumbai. So this is as per the inputs given by the students. So 13th of May, which is next week, the actual interviews are starting. I'm sure you are at the peak of your preparation for this last stage. The interview have a 15% weightage in your overall selection. So 85% of your phase two written score and 15% of your interview score is taken together to give the final uh, score for your uh, SEBI grade A uh, selection process. So uh, that is the weightage. So it's very, very important. And the other thing is that the competition is refined at this stage. So all these students are, uh, you know, cleared the phase two level. So of course, they have a lot of knowledge. And the interview, uh, we are aware that there are 120 vacancies, 80 for general, 16 for legal seven for research and uh, three for Raj Bhasha. IT I have not included here because IT the overall people who cleared the exam stage is less than the number of vacancies. However, for all the other streams around three times the vacancies the students have been called and all of these have cleared stage two phase two examination. So they have good knowledge. So at this stage, what will differentiate you to be that one out of the three students that have been called for interview. So you have to up your game. You have to up your preparation here uh, to make sure you go in that, uh, uh, you know, one third percentage who gets finally selected and gets the job. So let's first talk about the science. What is the science of interview? Science of the interview is the logical part that everybody prepares. You know what to prepare and you prepare on that. The first is strengthening your subject knowledge. So whatever you studied for phase two, the different su subjects, if I talk about general, you had studied accounts, you had studied commerce, you had studied costing, uh, you had studied companies uh, act, you had studied, uh, say, management, uh, you had studied finance, you had studied economics. So there were so many things you had studied. If I talk about the other streams, there was the legal so many acts you had studied like IPC, Constitution, uh, Companies Act, uh, Securities Law. So there were so many things that you had to uh, studied and you would have gained knowledge. In addition to what you had studied for SEBI exam, there could be knowledge related to your background. Some of you may be engineers, some of you may be CA, some of you may be CFA, some of you may be uh, cost accountants. Uh, Right. So you come from different, different backgrounds or somebody is an English, uh, you know, uh, postgraduate. So you come from different backgrounds and your subject knowledge at least uh, is the logical first step that majority of the students take when they are preparing for interviews. And rightly so, you need to know your subject. Second is being aware, very, very important. SEBI is the regulator for the financial markets, uh, sorry, the capital markets uh, in India. So we need to be aware what is happening in the world. LIC IPO is happening. What is the news about that? The Ukraine uh, Russia war is happening. What is the latest happening on that? How does it impact the crude? And then how does it impact the Indian economy? It's important uh, to understand that. Uh, RBI uh, increased the repo rate by 
40 basis point and the markets crashed why we need to understand that why has rbi increased uh, the repo rate uh, in the middle of two of its uh, uh, monetary policy meeting they just had a meeting in april when they did not increase and now in ad hoc meeting uh, emergency meeting they have increased it they have increased the crr by 50 basis point what is the impact of that so being generally aware about what is happening around you is another very logical and important way to prepare and you should be preparing and hope you all are preparing on this line also the next very important aspect you should be preparing on is knowing about the organization. So if you are interested in SEBI, you should know about SEBI and some key regulations related to SEBI. For example, uh, when was SEBI established? What is its mandate? What does its preamble say? You can go in the about section on the SEBI website to follow all that. Who is the chairman? Who have been the chairmen in the past? What is the board of the SEBI structured as? Um, then certain important regulations. Uh, there are ICDR regulations. Do you need to read all of them? Maybe not the day, but something that impacts you. For example, the IPO regulations were updated or some changes were made by SEBI. So what were those? Uh, recently, a news going about, you know, Ambuja and ACC cement. So what are the takeover code and what is the open offer that they are talking about? So some regulations, not that you can be uh, need exhaustive, but these are areas you can look at. You can also read the annual report of SEBI to understand which you will find in the report section if you will go you will find the annual report where you can see how uh, the different uh, aspects in the economy and the financial markets and then the capital markets and the commodity markets that SEBI has talked about what has the chairman said in the annual report what the message they have given so all this will help you get a comprehensive idea and show your interest in the organization and your keenness towards learning uh, and doing well in the organizations, in the functioning, in the departments of SEBI. So that is another very important aspect that you should be preparing and I'm sure all of you are already preparing on this uh, aspect. A lot of students uh, have been talking to us on a one-to-one -one basis, trying to clarify certain points that they read in the newspaper or uh, on the SEBI website uh, and the important parts they want to read. So all that is available. Even Sushil sir has made a video uh, on what to read from the annual report and what to prepare. You will find the link to that video also in the description box if you want to see that uh, again. Or you, okay. So uh, this, these are aspects that you should be logically preparing on. The other important logical science of it is your first impression or how you dress, how you look the uh, attire matters the dress code measures and it uh, the important fact is it can be anything uh, uh, male to male candidates can wear a shirt they can wear a tie if it suits them and if they can feel comfortable in them should they wear a blazer again if you are comfortable in it you can wear a blazer also so these are just indicative uh, images females can wear both western or indian formals whatever you are comfortable in western and indian equally uh, are good options whatever you are comfortable in you should look sharp you should not be overdressed they should be light colors uh, they should be formal colors uh, that you can stick with nothing fancy nothing flashy so that is also a very important aspect which uh, a lot of students talk about but this should not be given over uh, you know over thought too much of thought uh, if you are comfortable if you are neat if you are presentable that is a good enough way to go and uh, be presentable in front of uh, you know the panel there so these are mostly the logical aspects the science part of it the uh, things that you need to learn the things that you need to prepare on for yourself now also comes the art part of it what do we mean by art the art basically is the creativity it's the creativity about you it is the differentiating factor it is how finesse how as an individual you are these are the softer aspects that bring out the beauty of things right so this is also very very important uh, for it so what is basically i'm talking about what are the aspects uh, that matter 
uh, that are the art part of the interviews one is your verbal skills verbal spoken skills of communication right here please don't misunderstand it as language many students think verbal skills means very good english no that is not what we talking about it could be hindi it could be english and say be in your pif your personal information form form also they have very asked you very categorically asked you in which language you want to give interview and you have a choice between english and hindi so language is not the barrier it is the choice of words that you use while communicating how you are structuring your sentence in whichever language you are comfortable with are you comfortable with the language are you fluent with the language that is what matters it is not the language that matters so we have to be we should have the skill this the why i call it art is because how you structure your sentence the same message can be given in a very verbose very long paragraph style or in a crisp point to the point type of an answer or even a word where which ones is to be used that is the art when to use a long answer when to use a crisp answer when to use a one word answer to get out of a situation that works in your favor or does not work in your favor that is the art of uh, the communication or the words or the choice of words we use the other art is not bluffing a lot of us this is uh, you know this is a hole which we walk into and fall down is let's impress let's impress the panel who is going to check whether i like something or i don't like something uh, whether i know if they are asking me yes or no have you read the, have you read the annual report and pop pop out uh, the answer from my mouth yes and okay then what did the chairman say uh, sorry sir i read it a month back i am not able to recall so we should and we had not read it who is going to ask me on what page what is written right so let's not bluff uh i keep repeating this uh, many times to a lot of students who come uh, the people sitting on the panel have more experience than the age uh, of yours so please don't bluff they may smile they may not catch you you may think they have not ca caught you uh, uh, but they know it and they sense it and they accordingly uh, give you marks about it then another uh, thing people fall for a mistake they do is talking about learning men hobby paradox okay uh, when asked about the interest and hobby a lot of people uh, would uh, fake their hobbies and in order to impress the board again talk about skills uh, they may not really be interested in or hobbies they may not be interested in one very common thing is reading books i am in the habit of reading books people like to say that they think they will be the board will be impressed and then Uh, if asked okay what is the last book you read and then again we pop out comes the answer uh, i have not got the time to read a book from a long time because i have been preparing for the interview or i have been preparing giving exams or they will take the name of a book which nobody has heard about so here if you go for the first strategy the panel knows you are just trying to impress you don't really read you are not really interested and if you give a uh, talk about say for example a book which nobody has heard about or much or is less likely to have heard which may be even correct but it is less likely to be heard then you lose a chance to carry on a good conversation about your hobby with the panel which could have worked in your favor and brought out your passion or your interest in a very a positive manner so that's the paradox how to use it so be very honest about what your interests are what your personality is what is right about you another skill that people are not able to understand is the extreme formats of answer this is which i will link to what i was explaining earlier also that students sometimes make it a viva voce like in in colleges and schools we go for a why when you are asked a question and one word answers we give this interview should be like a conversation and not like a why when so many times students stick to giving one word answers yes no who is the uh, regulator for money market rbi they will just stop at it giving one word answers and then there is the other extreme when they will just not stop and the panel starts get bored by the long answers and the round and round about a conversation that you are going on so again 
finding the perfect balance depending on how the uh, uh, the panel is receiving your answers is very very important and that judgment you have to make in few seconds they're sitting right there in front of the interview panel and that's why it's an art and then another mistake to avoid is giving rehearsed answers why do you want to join sebi i want to join sebi because i want to serve the nation how do you serve the nation don't you serve the nation by doing any other job maybe but in sebi i will do i will be able to serve the nation better so not knowing the right answers not knowing why you want to be in an organization or just learning mugging answers without really understanding the question essence of the question or even your answer to it becomes a problem so that other we should avoid and these these are art these come this here is your creativity how do you differentiate yourself if everybody is saying the same thing that i want to serve the nation by joining sebi then how are you different from the other from the other aspect of the art is the non verbal skills the non verbal skills is your body language how you are sitting how do you use your hand gestures what are your facial expressions do you look nervous do you smile are you sitting at a gun point for uh, answering uh, there's no expression there is monotonous tone no modulation these things matter they show your confidence level they show you as a personality uh, is is the person receptive or non receptive uh, uh, that kind of skills are shown in your non verbal communication and the absence or presence of the listening skills please understand there is a difference between listening and hearing you may be hearing but you may not be listening so active listening is very very important many a times we jump into giving an answer before the question has finished uh, you know assuming what the question will be and then in that case it doesn't really fit into what the panel member was asking so very important that we listen properly take a few seconds uh, maybe 5 uh, seconds to structure the answer in our head and then give a well a uh, worded well structured answer to the panel to the point it's very very important again this is something that comes with practice this is something that comes with a lot of speaking out and not just uh, rehearsing in your head but speaking out loudly and practicing and last aspect is your personality traits right thinks oh, many times we asked why why did you leave your current uh, uh, your previous job or uh, why do you you already have a good job why do you want to leave it and instead of focusing on the good parts of coming to sebi we start talking about the negatives uh, that we want to escape from the salary is not good the working hours are very long there is no work life balance uh, they 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 are not giving me the profile that i am working on it's been one year i have not been promoted you are going on and on talking about something that you have not got in the previous organization or you're not happy with rather than focusing on what you are looking forward to so a very different it gives you brings out that you focus on the negatives you are a person who runs away from challenges every situation has challenges in your life and you should be able to face them and move ahead and find the positive aspect to uh, do something about it and the next last another point is drawing a blank on self questions who am i what are your strengths what are your weakness how are you different from any other candidate uh, what was your achievement and then we feel lost we feel lost or we come out with answers which can be damaging right so how which answer is correct which is not it's again very very important and here is the art not repeating again not falling for the rehearsed answers that one can get one should not they should be unique to you and still in a positive light right so that's the key that's very very important so how what does one do i have told you the science you know you can go back to your books you know you can go to the newspaper you know you can go to the sebi website to get the knowledge but what about the art can it be learned the simple answer one word answer is yes it can be learned however 
it requires a lot of practice it requires the right kind of guidance to improve to and to achieve the fitness and perfection if you will ever look at an artist Uh, the aim is always that the last art that they present whether it is in the drawing or say in the film industry or any other form of art a boutique an interior designer they will always look to improve and that comes only after looking at what present is in your head uh you know the technology now is helping to come out with uh, ways to see how a thing will come out how an idea will come out to be however you still need to sit down and draw make that picture to move from here to here so that practice and the right guidance what went wrong what is right what is the area you can now further improve to make it perfect is can be learned but it comes with practice and not theory so that's why at i exam we we take our mock interviews very 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 seriously our mock interviews have been designed in a manner so that you get the best of both the science and the art we have the perfect blend uh, of uh, you know experts in our panel uh, and Uh, the people who will show you the art the finesse where you lagged in maybe the communication or maybe in your self analysis or maybe how you delivered or in your body language uh, very simply we call them hr questions by just saying hr questions sometimes we reduce the seriousness of how much it matters because it covers a lot of the other aspects so we have our uh, experts are specialized experts on our panel related to the subject knowledge and we have experienced panel members who have conducted thousands of actual and mock interviews to give you the right guidance uh on both the science and the art aspect if you want to experience any of that we had done a mock interview on live format on the youtube channel you will find the link of this in the i button and also in the description it's also flashing on your screen you can have a look and experience how we conduct the mock interview to make you the uh, you make you prepared on all the aspects for your interview so you uh, for your what you need to prepare on the type of questions you can prepare on the perfect right uh, question list what will be exactly be asked will definitely depend on your profile and how the interview progresses but the areas you should be preparing on a list of interview questions is provided in the description which you can download and if you want to book a mock with our expert panel you can also fill the google form in the description box and reach out to us for arranging and mock interview with our expert panel thank you everybody for joining wishing you all the best hope you come out with flying colors in your actual interview